craving for something sweet and delicious. So I saw and remembered that Kroger has these on sale, the Little Debbie snack cakes, and they're $1.99, which is a pretty good deal. And I don't know, is it just me or do the seasonal ones taste like so much better than just the regular Little Debbies? Like the like seasonal ones, they'll do the Christmas ones, they'll do the spring ones, the fall ones, like they just taste so much better. I don't know, is that just me? Am I crazy or? Do you guys think the like seasonal ones are the best? I don't know, but. Hi everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. I am super excited to be vlogging today, just taking you guys along for the day. So um, I'm currently sitting here in the Kroger parking lot. I just went in and did my video a few minutes ago. Lots of great deals this week to talk about. It's an awesome, awesome week over at Kroger for sure. Um, I didn't end up picking up anything today <laughs> because my dad, um, my dad ended up picking up my wallet by mistake. He thought it was his, but it was mine. So that's why your wallet shouldn't look alike. So yes, I didn't have any money on me today to spend, which, you know, that's good on the budget, right? But there are some deals I totally do want to come back to Kroger and do. So hopefully tomorrow when I have my money, um, I can come back. I'm hoping to get a good like weekend warrior bonus. So that could be good anyway that I didn't do it today because hopefully all those freebies and stuff are still available. I can come back and take advantage and do a haul. So here's hoping for that for sure that's that's what's up so hopefully i can get out today and get some exercise it's a beautiful day here in ohio yes that's kind of what's up but um, i'm gonna go home now and get my video edited and uploaded and ready for you guys for kroger and i'll catch you all after that for here lately is actually my budget and finances. That is something that I've really been focusing on lately and like kind of coming up with like plans on how I'm going to like best be successful with my finances. So if you guys remember, I actually used to be really, really intense with my budgeting. I would come on here and talk about it in vlogs and stuff. I did something called sinking funds where I would save little bits from each like paycheck for different savings categories. And that way when the events would come up, I would have like money saved. So I was really, really into that. And then also I would throw extra money towards my like student loan payments or car payment. Really was successful. I've done a lot of great financial things over the years. Um, I had a total of like five different student loans. I like, broke it down into five different loans. I was able to pay off three of those. You know, they were the smaller ones, but I was really, really excited about that. And also um, we were able to pay off the car. So that was really great. However, things kind of like got annoying when literally not even a month not even a month after I paid my car off, literally, I got in a car accident and my car got totaled. So it was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get a different car. And guys, the car market at that time was so weird. Like you could not find a cheap car, even if it was used. 
they were so expensive. So I ended up like going with the best kind of deal I could find um, at the time. Thankfully, they got a low interest rate and stuff, but it would make it so I had a car payment again. So it was like, ugh. And I ended up using a lot of my, like all my sinking funds money towards the down payment on this car. So it was just like, man, this was really frustrating. And I kind of just like got discouraged and stopped hardcore budgeting. I did throw extra money towards like my student loans and stuff, but I didn't end up, you know, really saving anymore. And it got to the point where I actually wasn't saving at all. Like I had nothing in savings other than like my tax payments, which I make every three months. So, but really I had like no savings if an emergency would happen. And I also was getting into like spending and thankfully, like I never got into any like interest bearing debt on credit cards. But if I would have like continued on that pattern, I would have probably ended up there. And that is crazy as a couponer to admit that. Like it's pretty wild that as a couponer, you know, I overspent, but I did. And a lot of that was on like deals and clearance and stuff like that. And especially with Christmas, like I would kind of justify it by being like, oh, this is Christmas shopping. But uh, guys, I ended up... I remember kind of like the wake up call is I was going through and like reconciling everything and like paying my bills and stuff. And I realized I had like overspent by like 400 something dollars more than the money I got that month. And I was like, oh my gosh, Nick, what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is bad. Um, and so then it was like, okay, I got to get back on track, you know? this like willy nilly spending here, you, you got to get back on track. And so um, I was like rebudgeting again. And I ran across the video one day. I don't know why it just like randomly showed up on my YouTube suggestions from the Ramsey show. Um, and kind of just like reignited the passion for budgeting. It's like really kind of reignited that in me to work hard towards my financial goals. And so I ended up like I've been binging their videos like all the time. I keep like listening to their like highlights from the show. And I love listening to their like videos. They're really awesome. Now I don't agree with everything that Dave says. Like it wouldn't completely work for my life, but like the baby steps, I am really, really loving that. And that's what I'm trying to follow right now. So I'm currently on baby step one, which is to save a thousand dollars for an emergency fund. And I really, really like that to have a thousand dollars just saved up in case something were to happen. I have that money right there, then and there. I don't have to worry about having to like scramble to find it if an emergency happens. There you go. So that's the first step. And then I will move on to step two, which is where you pay off your debts from smallest to largest. Now, I only have three debts. I have two student loans and my car loan. So it's not like a huge amount or anything, but it's definitely, you know, something I want to get paid off. So I'll be working those smallest to largest. And that's going to be the journey for the next you know, a couple of years. Will it be like as quick as Dave probably would recommend? No, because I'm not going to go scorched earth. That's what they say on the Ramsey show. Like you shouldn't have a life basically until you get your debt paid off. Um, don't eat out. Don't do anything fun. I don't agree with that for me. You know, you're not promised tomorrow and I'm 23. Like I don't feel like sitting around doing nothing all my life. So for me, I'm going to be within reason. I'm going to budget in things. But truth be told, I don't do that many like recreational things anyway. So it's not going to be like a crazy, crazy amount. But, you know, I'm still going to live life a little bit. But I am going to work hard. I've already made some cutbacks. Like I went through and cut like almost all my streaming services for like TV. Don't need eight streaming services, you know, cutting back on my spending, things like that. Um, just so that I can throw as much towards debt as I can. And what really, really is going to help make this go fast is that my parents actually did come to me and said, you know what, Nick, like, totally, if you don't want to move out, you are more than welcome to stay here while you are working on paying off your debt. Um, we'd love to be able to help you that way. And that truly is going to be such a major help in like working on paying my loans off as fast as possible because, um, you know, I don't have all the expenses that go along with owning your own place. Like rent is outrageous right now in my area. Like it's insane. <laughs> so I, I really don't want to live completely alone anyway. So I'm really more than happy to still be at home. And I do try to contribute to the household. Couponing is a major one. They don't have to buy, you know, personal care products and, you know, household goods. Like I get that stuff for dirt cheap couponing. Um, and, you know, I try to help out with groceries as well. So I, I contribute to our household, but it's definitely a lot cheaper 
a lot cheaper than it would be being out there all on my own. And, you know, I try to cook and help out around the house and things like that. Just to, like, show how thankful I am that my parents are making this opportunity for me to really focus on hitting my financial goals and stuff. And so I'm really, really excited. So I'm really, like, laser focused again on gaining financial freedom and working those baby steps that Dave recommends. So, yeah, guys, if any of you do the Dave Ramsey thing or have done the Dave Ramsey thing, I would love to hear it down below. Um, I'm really excited. I'm feeling really good about it. And just like gaining financial freedom sounds awesome. So guys, this is kind of like a weird vlog. It was more of just like a chit chat, but that's been a big thing in my life lately is actually the finances. Um, and like really, really thinking it through and like working hard towards that. Um, so I am excited and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me. So come back tomorrow for another vlogtober and thank you so, so much for watching.